Hello everyone, welcome to Screencast SC10040. In today's screencast, we are going to be creating AAA policies. Uh, AAA is a Radius server which is used for authentication, authorization, and accounting. Let's get started. So what is a AAA policy? A AAA policy essentially defines uh, the IP address of a Radius server. The Radius server could reside on the wireless infrastructure, like the AP or the controller, or it could be an external server like a free, free radius server or a Windows IES server. The other uh, key parameter that can be configured in the AAA policy is the radi radius proxy mode. The radius proxy mode essentially allows uh, multiple access points to proxy the request to the AAA. As mentioned earlier, the AAA server can reside on an AP, an R switch, or an external server. In most wireless enterprises like Motorola, the, the radius server would reside as a standalone IES server or a free radius server. Hence, in today's screencast, we will create a AAA policy with an external radius server. Our radius server has an IP address of uh, 192.168.2.7. Any request uh, coming in from the AP will be tunneled to the RF switch, and the RF switch would then proxy that request to the radius server. The main hardware components uh, in our topology today are an RFS controller and a wired radius server. To create a AAA policy, we will navigate to Configuration, Wireless, and then click on a AAA policy. Let's add a policy, we'll call it uh, Moto, click on Continue. Now we need to add our uh, Radius server, so let's click on Add. Uh, the first thing we need to do is give it an IP address. Our uh, Radius server has an IP address of 192.168.2.7. Again, the option here is uh, to have an IP address or a host name. Uh, the server type is host because we have an external radius server. The other options are onboard and uh, onboard controller. Uh, we would cover these options in a separate screencast. In regards to the proxy mode, we are going to say through wireless controller. The other option is through RF domain manager. Again, we will cover that in a separate screencast. Uh, for this screencast, we are going to be going through the wireless controller, which, which essentially means that uh, you have the AP. The AP sends a request to the wireless controller, and the wireless controller then proxies that request to the external radius server. The reason for doing that is if you have hundreds of APs across different subnets, you do not necessarily have to add every single AP or every single subnet as a client in the radius server. You just add the wireless controller as a client, and all the APs send the request to the wireless controller, which then proxies that request. Let's put a shared secret. We'll keep it uh, as Motorola. Click on OK, exit out of here, commit our changes, and then save it. The configuration file for today's screencast can be downloaded from the link seen on your screen. You should now be able to create a AAA policy for an external Redis server. Thanks for watching.